Hey guys, welcome to my new channel Wild Indian Rover. This is Deepak and today I'm going to take you to a short tour to one of the most beautiful island countries, Sri Lanka. This country is definitely ignored by most of us whenever we think of any overseas trip or either we try to keep it as our last option. But what we forget is Sri Lanka is way more than you can ever expect. The culture, the diversity, history and many more things will surprise you once you visit this amazing country. Trust me, this country is going to leave you impressed in many more ways. Especially the beaches, right from Tangle to Nigombo beach which is a stretch of like close to 200 kilometers and it is going to give you an amazing view. Beaches in Sri Lanka are not actually very crowded and you can spend a pleasant time for long hours. People are kind, friendly and trust me they have more patience in every aspect. You will also notice one very beautiful thing about Sri Lankans is that they love to keep their country clean and it is way more cleaner than you can ever imagine. And you will not find any littering around and this makes it even more beautiful. So we happened to visit Sri Lanka in the month of May in 2019. Unfortunately for Sri Lanka this was the time when it was recovering from disaster that it faced due to Easter bombings which happened on 21st of April. Worst thing that happened to such an amazing country. However, we had planned for this trip like 4 months prior to our visit and we were skeptic about the situation in Sri Lanka and we were unsure about the plan to whether cancel it or postpone it. All our bookings were already done and but we were left with no other options since July onwards monsoon hits Sri Lanka and would not be the best time to visit. Meanwhile, we were also in contact with one of our cab agent in Sri Lanka who assured us that things are fine and we can visit Sri Lanka without any issues. So we stick to our plan and finally made it to Sri Lanka. No doubt throughout the country there was a huge security. Now once you reach Sri Lankan airport you can always exchange your currency. There are several money exchange outlets and there's also a SIM counter where you can show your passport and grab a SIM. For like you can choose a plan it will be for like one month or like two months that depends on your stay. Our itinerary had 5 to 6 cities to cover and we stayed in Sri Lanka for like 7, 5 days and we covered places starting from northwest province and ended up in the western province via central province and the southern province. So in the west northwest province falls Nigombo followed by Dambula, Kandy, Ella, Mirisa, Bentota and then Colombo. Uh, we did not include eastern province which includes places like Trinco, Mali, Arugam Bay as we did not have much time and it was not there in our schedule. So if you are ever planning to visit Sri Lanka, best time for Sri Lanka would be Jan to March or either it will be May to September. Now this again depends on which province you are going to visit. Jan to March for south and western coast and May to September for east coast. And if you are planning for Adams Peak then you need to visit it in between December and May. Ok so let's move forward and keep watching this video till the end. Do like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.